How come the news never reports the weather from out in the middle of the ocean? Maybe people want to know. I, why not? So the fine folks at NewX sent me a box this week and uh, asked me to do this pedal first. This is the NDR5 Atlantic Delay and Reverb pedal, and I got to tell you, this thing's pretty cool. You know, as the name implies, it's a delay pedal and a reverb, uh, all in the same pedal. And really, you can treat it like two different, uh, like two different pedals, and it's it, uh, it it does a lot and it sounds great. Uh, there's a lot of features on it. You know, if you start over here on the delay side, you've got your, you know, really your standard delay, you know, controls, level time, uh, re and, you know, your number of repeats. And then you got this switch right here. In this switch, you have three different delay modes that you can choose from, uh, 70s, 60s, and 80s. 70s being uh, an analog delay, 60s being more of a tape, uh, you know, like a dirty sounding tape delay. And then 80s, of course, being the, the ultra clean digital delay sounds. Uh, and that's the ones that I happen to like the most. Probably the coolest feature on this pedal is the tap tempo because somehow, you know, if, if you can see right now it's on. Click, click it once, it's off. Click it once, it's back on again. And then somehow, you know, it just knows. It just knows by tapping it, you know, somehow intuitively, it just seems to know whether you're turning it on or off or whether you're adjusting the tap tempo. I can't wrap my brain how the hell they, they managed to figure out uh, they managed to figure out that, that technology, but that blows my mind. I think that's unbelievable. Really, really cool. Uh, so, you know, it's literally all in one switch and, you know, there's no holding down, to, you know, to access tap tempo mode or anything like that you see on some, uh, some other delay pedals out there. Meanwhile, over here on the reverb side, uh, also some really cool stuff. You've got three uh, reverb modes to choose from. You've got spring, plate, and uh, hall. Again, you got your level control, your, de your decay control, pretty standard reverb controls, but the, uh, the, the money maker over here on this side is what happens when you hold the switch on each of these modes. Uh, you know, and it's something different does happen with each one. I think uh, with spring, uh, spring reverb, I think it's like, a, uh, like an ultra sustain, basically it'll hold uh, whatever the reverb note is. Uh, the plate reverb mode is a shimmer, you know, that'll activate a shimmer effect when you hold that down. And then the hall uh, reverb mode when you hold in that switch will activate a freeze effect. It's pretty cool, man. It does, uh, does a lot of really cool stuff. And last but not least, I flip it over here to the top side. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a few more goodies. Uh, of course, you know you you know, you got your mono input, but it does have stereo ins and outs. But there's also two little switches here. You, I'm sorry, you have a minus ten or a plus four dB switch, uh, so you can actually you know control a little you know kind of kind of like a boost control of the uh, the effect itself, you know, and a series and parallel mode uh, to choose from. You know, this pedal's been a lot of fun to use. Uh, I hope you enjoy the track that you're getting ready to hear and uh, stick around for the twisty knobby mode right afterwards because they, that's, you know, I think really going to give you an idea of, of, you know, the full range of what this thing can do.
Atlantic delay and reverb from my friends at New X, and I did get confirmation by the way that that uh, their brand name is in fact pronounced New X. I got a confirmation from the company itself. So at any rate, go check out the Atlantic. Links down in the description. Adios. <laughs>